You are about to watch a Things Get Dicey vlog, but first I want to tell you about the online coffee company Mini Worlds Tavern. They make coffee for game night, and a dollar of every bag they sell is donated to gaming related nonprofits. They're legitimately very cool. Their coffee is super tasty, and they now have instant coffee, which is perfect for convention hotel room mornings. They now also have this single origin coffee, Treasured Realm. They're only making a hundred bags of this, and each box comes with uh, some exclusive goodies. They also have play mats and stickers. Click the link in the description below to get 10% off your order. Thanks for watching this ad. Now on to the vlog. Hey y'all, welcome to my vlog. Today is another installment of Board Game Hobby Hacks. Let's get to it. So today I'm going to be giving you all my tips and tricks for attending a convention. And I figured we should start at the most important part, packing. Come on. So I am actually getting ready to leave for a convention today. So I figured why not show you how I really pack for one, since I'm pretty much an expert at this point we're not actually going to be packing into this suitcase. We're gonna be packing in this one. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you pack plenty of masks. How many do we think we need? Oh boy, uh, yeah, that's probably enough. And don't forget, hand sanitizer. Very important. Board game hobby hack. Run out of hot water in your hotel room because you're sharing with six other people? Take a jumbo sized bottle of hand sanitizer and just bathe with that. Packing snacks is also super important for a convention. Low blood sugar makes you a sore loser. I myself have almost flipped tables at multiple conventions only to have the moment of crisis averted because someone pulled out a well-timed bag of almonds. Make sure to bring with you some reasonably healthy travel-sized snacks that you can eat without getting your fingers too messy. That's important. Board game hobby hack. Want a tip for keeping your fingers clean while eating a snack? Use a straw. you're stacking your snacks in your backpack in the order that you'll want to access them in. That way, as soon as you eat the first one, you'll have easy access to the next one the next time you're hungry. Now that's what I call a backpack snack attack stack hack. And of course, you're gonna wanna bring a couple games with you. I like to bring mostly light or filler games for those little moments of downtime in between events but you're also gonna want people to know that you're a serious gamer. So bring some heavy games too. Board game hobby hack. Worried about people checking your gamer cred, but you don't think you'll actually have time to fit in that three hour game at the convention. Take my advice. Just carry the game box around with you, like you're looking for a place to play it. No one will suspect you've never actually opened the box. Of course, it's not just about what you pack, but how you pack it. It's all about consolidation. Let me show you what I mean. Little baggies are great for everything. Pill cases are a great way to travel with board game components. Just empty out those prescriptions and fill it on up. So efficient. If you haven't started rolling your rule books, this is a game changer. We're gonna save so much room this way. all that cardboard can get a bit stale. That's why I like to throw in some dryer sheets just to keep things fresh. Sometimes you gotta make tough decisions. Not everything's gonna fit. And now for the ultimate board game hobby packing hack. Remember this big suitcase from earlier? We're gonna take our carry-on and pack it inside. Look at all this extra space we have now. Perfect for bringing home all those board games we're gonna buy at the convention. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Oh my gosh. Paper money. You never know when you're gonna need this stuff. I can't tell you the number of times I've been at conventions and have been so glad I happen to have some of this with me. I just take it from the power grid box. Okay, now we're ready to go. Now don't forget that you'll need to tip the people who help you, which is why I always make sure to have a bunch of promos with me. People love promos. Thanks so much, here you go. What is this? Morning, y'all. I made it to my hotel. 
pretty late last night. And um, as you can see, I have fallen asleep <laughs> in my clothes and I stink. <laughs> Here's a board game hobby hack for you. Don't be the person that stinks at a convention. Wear fresh clothes. And with that in mind, I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks for how to be comfortable in your clothes at a convention. Okay, so of course you wanna be comfortable at a convention. And I think the first piece of that is your shoes. You're gonna be walking around all day. So let me show you the shoes that I packed that I think are so comfortable. We fit so many games in here. My shoes are here. They must be just, I put them on the bottom. Wait, where are my, I'll have. Board game hobby hack. Don't forget to pack your clothes. I don't have shoes or any clothes to wear. I have no clothes to wear. Wait, 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 okay. All right, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a wonderful time at your convention. I'm gonna get on out there. Good thing my clothes are the only thing I forgot. BoardGameTables.com is a season sponsor of Things Get Dicey. You might be able to check them out if you're planning to attend any upcoming conventions. Demo some of their games, check out some of their tables, and say hello and thank them for helping to make this series possible. Now, I'm gonna miss my flight if I don't get going, so uh, see y'all. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> <sighs>